Hey everyone, it's me Ronnie and I'm back. It's been a good two and a half weeks since I've made a video. Perfectly good explanation. I hurt my back and it was to the point where I couldn't even sit in this nice comfy chair that I have without crying and me crying in a video would not do well for my appearance and or my makeup. So I just thought until I'm completely better, I will not film the video and I wouldn't do the video. So when I did finally feel better and I went to go ahead and film the video and start editing it, I plug in my external hard drive and it dies. So I'm without stuff to make the video. So this video is probably going to be bare bones. I do apologize, but if you're still interested in doing this nice pink and blue and white look, Stay tuned and I will definitely teach you how to do it. But it's great to be back, so let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is, I already did it off camera, but is I went ahead and I used Corpse Cosmetics in blank canvas. And that's going to be my bottom primer, my first primer that I used. And I went ahead and I put it all the way up to my brow bone. And then the next item I'm going to use to help make the colors pop more is my NYX shadow base, eyeshadow base, and this is in white pearl. And I'm going to go ahead and also put that up on my eyelid. Okay. Then what I'm going to first start out doing is I'm using my Party Girl flat brush and I'm going to use Mercury from the Corpse Cosmetics Sailor Scout line Sailor, I'm sorry Sailor Senshi line and I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know if you can really see but I kinda have like this line going on to my eye in the middle of my eyelid so I'm gonna paint the blue up to that line and I'm gonna do a nice little patting motion so I can get a better eyeshadow color payoff I really like the Sailor Senshi line it's a nice variety of colors and it's very affordable so if you haven't already I highly suggest that you go and pick this up from Corpse Cosmetics. If you type it into Google, it'll pop up. It's usually the first result on there. Okay. So once I did that all the way across my, the lower lid, I'm just going to go ahead and spread that out as well, making sure that I get a nice even application so that I don't have any um, splotches throughout the this bottom part. So you should get something like this. If you're not really comfortable with how much color that you have, go ahead and you can use like a fluffy brush such as this and just go ahead and just spread that out. Even if it's messy, you know, if it goes above the line, that's not a really a big deal because when you add the pink, you're going to have to mesh the colors together so you don't have a any harsh lines because that really will destroy the look. All right, so the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take the hot pink color of the Sailor Stenchy line from Corpse Cosmetics and that is Chibi Moon and I'm going to actually end up using the same brush that I just used and I'm going to go ahead and just I'm going to apply that above the blue color into the crease area type of deal so go ahead and pack the color on first so you can get your you know a map of how you want the color to rest on the eye and then just go ahead and in a back and forth motion lightly you don't want to do anything to cause wrinkles is you're going to go ahead and just start spreading it out like I said, if it goes into the blue, it's not really that much of a big deal because 
like I said, you want to go ahead and blend the harsh lines out. So I'm going to go ahead and do the blending off camera because it will take a little while until you get the uh, blending payoff that you want. So I'll just come back once I'm done and we'll move on with the look. Now that I finally got the blending payoff that I wanted, the next step that I'm going to do is I'm taking Mercury again from the Sailor Senshi line. And I'm going to go ahead and do the color underneath my eye. Therefore, it can balance out so it doesn't look too top heavy of a look. So what I do is I go ahead and I pat the color onto under my eye like this. And try not to make it too thick to make it look like a raccoon look. But then you don't want the line to be too thin because then what's going to end up happening is once you do the eyeliner then it won't look you won't see the color because the eyeliner will be covering it okay. and then just go ahead and lightly just blend out the color if you want you can use the same brush that you were using to put the color on or you can use a nice little blending brush to help with that which may make the work a little bit easier all right, and that's what it looks like, or it should look like. The next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is using my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil I'm go in Milk. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create the illusion of bigger eyes because anime girls usually have much big, like, large you know huge eyes that are like inhumanly possible but that's why I love anime but anyway what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to do my waterline and then I'm going to do the outer corner or I'm sorry the inner corner of the eye just so that it it creates an illusion of a bigger eye so just go ahead and lightly pull down your eye And just line it as so from corner to corner and then once you do that go ahead and just lightly do a slight color the V part so it looks something like that all right and now we move on to the eyeliner usually I do a liquid eyeliner to make a, a more dramatic statement but since Chibi 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 Moon is so young. I just think that, you know, the eyeliner is really not that big of a statement piece. So what I'm going to be using my uh, L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Eyeliner, and this is in black. And I'm just going to do a nice thin line at the top. It, Like I said, it's not going to be like a in your face type of look but it really helps pull the look together because if you can see here this one does have eyeliner at the top and the bottom and then this one does not so you can kind of see that my it's actually my left eye is like an unfinished look but if you like this look you're more than welcome to not do the eyeliner So I'm just going to lightly pull and I'm just going to do a nice little line close to my eyelashes. I'm just going to go over it just to get a little bit more color and then feel free to do the bottom lines as bottom eyeliner as well. I'm just going to touch it up here a little bit. Okay. 
and close the more there. All right, now that I got the payoff that I wanted for the eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and do the mascara, which is fairly simple. You need your eyelash curler to curl your eyelashes. You can do a few pumps there. And then I'm going to be using my current favorite eye mascara, excuse me, and that is my voluminous butterfly effect. And this is waterproof and this is in blackest black. And I'm just going to do the top and bottom lashes. That way you get that full finished look. Now when you do the eye lash curler you may see that unfortunately it does take some of the eyeliner off. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go back and touch it up where it seemed to have messed up my eyeliner. And I'll be right back and we're going to move on to the lips. All right, now that I'm finished with the eyes finally, what's going to happen now is we're doing the lips. Now, uh, before you do your lips, I always recommend that you moisturize them just so that the product goes on evenly. I tend to use my Vaseline Lip Therapy and this one has cocoa butter, but you can use any of your favorite um, lip conditioner, moisturizers, etc. Even if it has colors, just make sure that you gently wipe it off after a while, therefore, you know, still leaving the remnants of moisture on there. Okay, so I already did that with adding the color. So the color that I'm using today if I can find it beyond my mirror. Oh, there it is. It's with my brushes. <laughs> is I'm using the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Balm Stain, and this color is in Honey Deuce, I think. <laughs> but it looks like this. I like this color. It's not going to be too in your face because I want the eyes to make the statement, but it gives a nice like pinkish color. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on. And just go over it. You can use a lip brush if you want, but since the tip is kind of pointed, it will give you a nice little access. And the great thing about these these lip colors is that they're buildable so if you want it a little bit darker you can do it. Alright and that's basically the look so if you like it go ahead and leave me a like comment what you really like about the uh, video what you'd like to see in the future because as always I'm open to new ideas as well if you have haven't followed me I'm on Twitter it's beauty with 1987 if you are on Instagram I am too and it's the beauty within 1987 and I'm also on Facebook I got have a Facebook page it's facebook.com slash the beauty within 1987 thank you guys so much for watching and remember the beauty is always within see you next time